We are certainly a nation of pet lovers. Cats and dogs, tortoises and hamsters. But what kind of pet do we in the UK really prefer? I prefer domestic animals. Exotic. Domestic. Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, I'd consider Felicity to be quite exotic. She is a Herman's tortoise. She just has fruit and veg. She has wildflowers and sort of dandelions and things like that. So um, someone has said actually that she can have um, eggs, which she has had egg before and she has seemed to eat it. So yeah, you know, she's not completely vegetarian. I prefer dogs. Dogs. Yeah. For dogs. 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 Grew up with cats. But I'm kind of going to dogs at the moment. <laughs> my dog is important in my day-to-day -day life because um, she needs exercise, so she needs looking after, um, encourages you to go out and have a walk every day, sometimes twice a day, depending on the weather. Um, she's um, quite a character, so she sort of cheers you up, lifts your spirits, um, and she's also part of the family. Um, the fish make me happy because I like to see him swimming around and stuff, and all that like. Well, it does. It is a bit time to because you have to clean your gravel out, and I have to clean all the algae off, and then I change the water every three weeks. Big or small, the upkeep of a pet can be tiresome. However, the joy outweighs this. When I first decided to get my horse, I was about six. Um, my friends had had them before, um, and I just decided that it'd be a nice hobby to take up on. It takes up a very big part of your life. You, it's every single day, every single day of the year. It's expensive, it costs quite a lot of money to keep a horse. There's money for stables, money for food, money for bedding and substrate. Uh, I wanted to be a veterinary nurse because I really like animals and I thought every day would be different. It's important to be a vet to help sick animals, uh, prevent diseases in animals uh, and treat injured animals. Commonly we have dogs at Beach House but we have quite a lot of cats and occasional exotics, strays and wild animals. I have a dog, he's a seven-year-old Springer Cross Cocker Spaniel. I hand reared him from birth, so I've had him for seven years. I had the whole litter though, but it'd be crazy to keep all six of them. I think it'll be difficult once I've obviously gotten rid of Ifa to try and bond with other horses because it takes a lot of bonding when you've got a horse. It's not just as pet owners who form attachments, it's the animal experts too. But what gives someone the desire to own a pet? We decided to get a pet um, because when our last dog died, the house felt empty. So um, we wanted to get another dog. I've always loved animals. My dad's from a big sort of farming family in Ireland. Um, so we used to spend our summer holidays there. We lived in London and I just loved looking at all the animals from like cows, horses, sheep, ducks, chickens. People may wonder what the difference is between a domestic pet and a service pet. Well, the difference is pretty huge. For a start, they actually have a full-time job. My dog is Millie. She is a Springer Spaniel. She is an active search drug dog. My dog's name is Rufus. He's a Springer Spaniel and he's three years old. He's trained both passive and proactive. So what that means is he'll scan people, so he'll detect drugs on them, and he'll also scan buildings and open areas, which he does off the lead. So he's a dual purpose dog. For an active drug dog, it takes four weeks. For a passive drug dog that searches people, six weeks. And for a patrol dog, eight weeks. He'll search uh, buildings, he'll search cars, and search open areas and what he's looking for is his task is to find uh, controlled drugs so controlled drugs are any drugs where the government um, have classified as a controlled drug so that could be ecstasy cannabis and his aim is to find the drugs despite how cute these crime solvers are they aren't made for petting however there are definitely some animals that are there for our enjoyment in the children's zoo we have several animals, we have African pygmy goats, we have donkeys, we have Shetland ponies, we have Herdwick sheep, 
uh, rabbits, guinea pigs, chickens, ducks, geese. We have quite a big collection, around about 300 animals and birds at any one time. Uh, the reason it's important for me is I want to educate members of the public. I want to help children learn about animals. A lot of children don't have pets at home nowadays because the parents are far too busy to cope with pets. So I want to educate them and help them understand more about animals. Winters are very hard work. As you can see at the moment around the zoo, it's a bit bleak and a bit dirty and a bit uh, full of leaves. It's difficult sometimes, especially in winter when it's getting darker earlier and it's colder for them and they're having to obviously intake more food and more water. Pets may be hard work, but with that comes great joy and happiness. Both pet owners and professionals undoubtedly enjoy the relationship they have with their furry friends. It's the best job in the world. Uh, if somebody had said me, to me when I left school that you would be uh, working with a, a police dog, uh, I'd, have, I'd have been chuffed a bit and it has come true, it's a great job uh, and it's very rewarding as well. I've worked in the veterinary industry for 30 years so I can't imagine doing anything else. This is the job that I've always wanted to do and this is the job that I thoroughly enjoy doing.